Welcome back to this episode where I want to talk about some necessary mat built-in functions in PHP. The first predefined mat function that I want to talk about is a seal and floor function. Let me add it as a comment. Both functions take one parameter. And the seal function rounds numbers up to the nearest integer, if necessary. So let's echo out seal, the function, and let's add a parameter. And let's add a floating point of 0 0.50. Let's save it. Refresh the browser and you can see that the number, which is a floating point, is rounded up to an integer. And if we change it to 1.50, you can see that the output is 2. And the floor function is pretty much the opposite. It is used to convert a given numeric value to the next lowest integer value. So let's echo out floor. And inside our parentheses, let's add 0 0.50 again. Now let's add a break after our first echo. Save it. Refresh the browser and you can see that the output is zero because 0 0.50 is rounded up down to zero. And if we change it to 1.50, you can see that the output is one. The next function that I want to talk about is the round function. Let's add that as a comment. And like I said, the floor and seal functions are used to convert a numeric value to the next lowest or highest integer. But what the round function does is to round a floating point number. So let's echo out round. And our first parameter will be the number that you want to round. So let's say 0 0.54335. And the second one, separated with a comma, is the amount of numbers you want after the decimal point. So let's say two. Let's add a break after floor. Let's refresh the browser and you can see that the output is 0 0.54. And if we change it to four, you can see that the output is four numbers after the decimal point. And the last math function that I want to talk about is the exponentiation. So let's echo out exp. And inside our echo, let's add a number. Let's say four. And let's also add a break. Sorry for our little firework in the background, but it's December again. And if we refresh the browser, you can see the exponentiation of four. These are the math functions I think are necessary for you to know. And of course, there are a lot of more. And I recommend you to go to the PHP website because I won't be discussing them all because there are more than a hundred functions. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.